Hey everybody, this is Captain Steel Pants. We're back to do this eighth and final video in this series of basic camera movements and text to HUD through the Apple Toolkit. In this last video, we're going to cover how to make a simple fade to black camera transition for when you're moving from camera to camera rather than just a cutscene. So the first thing you want to do is go to your HUD. We're going to grab an image from the palette, drop it on here. We'll go ahead and size it up. We're going to change the color to black. Change the alpha to zero. And then we're going to make sure it's highlighted over here in the hierarchy. And we hit animation down here. We're going to call this fade to back and then with that highlighted, we're going to come up here. We're going to single left, left click on this icon next to the alpha. That'll add a track down here. We're going to start out with the alpha to zero. We're going to slide the bar over to 0.75. Three quarters of a sec. Change the alpha to one. That'll give us our fade to black. We'll go ahead and compile that. Go to the graph. And then we're going, we're going to want to create a custom event. We'll call that fade to black event. Then we're going to want to create a play animation. We'll control C to copy that. Control V to paste it. We're going to make the first one. We're going to leave that play mode forward. The second one, we're going to reverse it. We're going to drag in fade to black animation. Get fade to black animation. Plug that into the end animation of both of these. Create a flip. Go from the custom event to the flip from A the first play B the second and that should be all we need to do in the HUD animation now we'll open in the HUD blueprint we'll open the level blueprint next we're gonna go to where our cameras are we're gonna call that event custom event with fade to black you'll have to turn off context sensitive we're gonna copy and paste it we need we got three camera moves so we need six of them then we need a delay 0.75 seconds because that's how long our fade to black is Come off the A on the flip flop. Come off the fade to black event into the delay. From the delay into the attach actor. From the attach actor back to the fade event. That'll flip flop to the to the reverse and should fade back out. Copy the delay. Paste two more of those. Same delay 0.75 into the attach actor. From the attach actor to actor to the fade out again and same thing here from the b on the flip to the fade to black event to the delay into the attach actor to actor and back to the fade event okay then we have to drag over here in the variables we have to take that alphood variable hit get alphood that's from the hud blueprint we made earlier so these guys know you're accessing the HUD in the toolkit. Connect all these up. Compile that. Bring up our OBS window. We should be able to start our little cinematic camera. There's our T for text. There's our A key for text. R key for text. That we did on the earlier ones. Now if we go from camera one, it should fade and move. Camera two, fade and move. So rather than it being a harsh transition, you get a nice little fade in and out of it. And that's going to cover it for this episode and, matter of fact, for this series. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Well done.